almost everyone who uses insulin will have a low blood sugar reaction sometime. Low blood sugar or hypoglycemia happens quickly and should be treated right away. In general, a blood sugar level below 70 is considered low. Ask your diabetes team what a low blood sugar level is for you. Things that can cause low blood sugar include too much insulin or medicine, exercise, skipping meals and not finishing food that you have dosed insulin for. If you are on an insulin called NPH, you can have a low blood sugar by going more than four to five hours without eating. Mild signs of low blood sugar include shakiness, sweating, headache, hunger, and fast heartbeat. Your family, friends, teachers, and caregivers need to know the signs of low blood sugar so they can help you. Checking the blood sugar is the only way to know for sure if it is low. Do not assume it is low based on the way you feel. If a check reveals your blood sugar is below your target range, follow the rule of 15. This means you should eat or drink 15 grams of carbohydrates. Foods with 15 grams of carbohydrates include 3 to 4 glucose tablets and glucose gel, 4 ounces of juice, 1 tablespoon of sugar, and 8 ounces of low-fat milk or yogurt. Avoid chocolate that has fat in it or hard candy that takes too long to chew up. After you have eaten 15 grams of carbohydrates, wait 15 minutes and check your blood sugar again. This should raise your blood sugar. If eating 15 grams of carbohydrate does not bring your blood sugar above 70 or within your target range, eat another 15 grams of carbohydrates. Wait 15 minutes and check your blood sugar again. If your blood sugar level is above 70, continue your regular routine. Call your doctor if your blood sugar remains below 70 after eating carbohydrates three times. Low blood sugar can cause you to become confused. If this happens, you might not know what to do, so a parent may need to help you drink something or they'll squirt glucose gel in the side of your mouth. This will help raise your blood sugar level. Ask your doctor or diabetes educator to show you what this looks like. If not caught early, low blood sugar can cause a person to pass out or have a seizure. If this happens, an adult will need to give a medicine called glucagon. It is important that all family members and any caregivers, such as teachers and sitters, know how to use glucagon. Glucagon should only be given if a child is passed out or they're having a seizure. Glucagon expires after one year, so you will need to get a new kit each year. If a child becomes unconscious, an adult should prepare the glucagon injection according to the package instructions. Give the proper dose as advised by the doctor. If you have glucagon left over, save it for up to 24 hours in case another dose is needed. Place the child on their side to prevent choking. Glucagon may cause vomiting. Wait several minutes for the glucagon to work and check your blood sugar after 10 minutes. The parent should call 911 and your doctor if you do not respond to the glucagon after 10 minutes. The doctor may recommend giving a second dose of glucagon. An emergency medical team would start an IV that has glucose in it. Parents, communication with a child's endocrinologist is important when it comes to low blood sugars. Remember to report low blood sugars to the doctor or diabetes team, especially if they are happening on a regular basis or if they are severe enough that the child requires assistance with gel or a glucagon shot. The insulin dosage likely needs adjusting. The information provided in this video is intended to provide educational information only and should not be considered complete medical advice. Always consult your physician and or health care provider for specific medical treatment for you or your child. If you have any questions regarding the information provided in this video, consult your physician and or health care provider. This program, including all images, are the property of Children's Health Care of Atlanta or third parties. Commercial use by you or anyone authorized by you is prohibited. Any unauthorized use of this program may violate United States copyright laws, trademark laws, laws of privacy and publicity and communications regulations. The trademarks, logos, and service marks, collectively the trademarks displayed, are registered and unregistered trademarks of Children's Health Care of Atlanta and others. No trademark displayed may be used without the prior written permission of the owner of such trademarks. Misuse of the trademarks displayed or any other content is strictly prohibited. You are also advised that Children's Health Care of Atlanta will enforce its rights to the fullest extent of the law.